it is time to max out Hu Tao. We already have her maxed out at level 90. Uh, okay artifacts. And her talents at level 7. But we are going to get her weapon up to level 90 because I did farm yesterday uh, to get this weapon up because the materials weren't open when I originally leveled her up. But it is open now so we can level up the weapon. And talents we can probably still level up some more. We'll run a couple more boss runs maybe in this video. Do a little test out, see how well she runs. And um, yeah, so we'll start off by getting her weapon up. Because I think I prepared everything we need for this. So there's star number one. There is ascension number two. Ascension number three. Okay, so apparently not. We still need a couple more ley line drops. But hopefully I can craft them. Can I? I don't think I will be able. Maybe I might be able to. Yes, we can craft 13, which may or may not be enough. Two bonus from Sucrose. Thank you, Sucrose. That was better than expected. But uh, hopefully this is enough to... Yes, there's the fourth star. And hopefully now we don't need any more of the blues because we are completely out of them. No, we don't need any more blues. Okay, sick. So now we should be able to. There's the uh, fifth ascension. And here, hopefully, there we go. That's a sixth ascension. So now we just got to use a crap ton of uh, crystals and get up to level 90. There we go. Maxed out Star of Homer. That uses a crap ton of the crystals. We had like over 2,000 to start off with. Now we're down to 1,300. That uses so many crystals. But there is level 90 hotel level 90 staff of homer which means this should be looking okay again i need a lot more crit rate on her i said that in the last video when i initially built her but i mean it's a it's a nuke build it's it's built just for big burst damage hopefully maybe we'll see although my my yoi me isn't built, built much better she's only at 58 so it's it's not the greatest but it'll do for now uh, we also are going to get our talents up to level 9, I think I prepared for. So we're going to do that. And that, oh, I think it was only level 8 I prepared for. Maybe 9, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, we can probably get up to level 9. That's sick. So now we just need enough to uh, max her out. Oh, no, we're not going to have enough child drops to do her birth. Or books, actually. Okay, so we can't quite get everything up to 9, but it's very close to getting everything up to 9, which is sick. Yeah, so that's our pretty well-built Hu Tao. I'm not going to activate C1 yet because I do want to do another video where I do some, like, proper damage chests and everything comparing uh, Staff of Homer to C1. And I, I wanna, I'm going to activate C1 in that video, and I'm probably going to film that at the same time. So I will do some more big damage chests after this uh, once I've activated C1. But just before we do that, I do want to go test her out in some, um, uh, do some quick testing out now. And just see what she can do, because I want to see what kind of damage we can hit with her. So I'm probably going to run her in a team with, um, what team? I think I do, didn't, I think I prepared a team for her already, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a team. It's probably not the greatest team, but. Layla's here for a shield, especially for C, uh, especially for C0, that's nice. Xing chose a must, and Bennett just to do extra damage, I guess. But you know what would be really great in this team? We just want, I just want to try something out here. Uh, we have one pull. Do you know what would be really great in this team of Yalen? No, I would, okay. If we'd got that, I would have been so surprised, but no, I wasn't expecting anything. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to do that. I wanted to see if we are going to get a Yalen, but no, that's fine. I didn't expect it. So, um, this will do for now. I'm so used to running shields that I basically have to run Layla because my main team before had Layla on it just for the shield and now I just cannot dodge anymore. I just don't dodge at all. So, um, I'm going to go test her out against, uh, probably Masanori because he's just easy. 
we're gonna go test her out against Masanori and see how much damage she can do without um, C1 and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But I just want to get a baseline damage and see what we can hit. Okay, so we're going to start off with Layla E. Now, Bennett probably needs his burst. So uh, I might need to get Bennett's burst back before we actually try anything. There's Bennett's burst. Go Layla E, Layla Q, Xing Cho, E, Q, Bennett, E, Q, Hu Tao, just normal attack. 11Ks, 9Ks, 8Ks, 12Ks, 31K. That was the only crit I saw there, probably. Not bad. That's pretty good. Now, um, see if we can get everyone's things back and see if we can try out burst damage and see how much we can hit with a burst. Okay, you're not in his burst anymore. Okay, without Bennett's burst, what are we hitting? I didn't see that. I don't think that was a crit. That was definitely not a crit. It's like 28k or something. Which, I mean, isn't bad. But that was a 40k. Not bad. I'll take that. It was It was, It was. was okay. It could still be better, but it, it wasn't bad. He, we, he did leave Bennett's ring right at the end. And we didn't crit. So, that's the only problem with having a very low crit rate. Which I will fix. I have been doing... Um, Crimson domains to get her to get that fixed, but I haven't got a better crit rate piece to get higher crit rate on her, which is annoying. But is that a 53k? Or was that a, that was definitely a 5k, not a 50k. Now don't jump out of Bennett's ring, please. Don't jump out of Bennett's ring. Oh, was that 121k? I think I just saw 121k. That's not bad. Was that 121k? I've got to check because that would have definitely been my highest damage. I think that was 123k. That's pretty good. I am pretty happy with that. Considering she still could use some work. But that's pretty good. I'll take 123k off a burst. Because her stats right now aren't too bad. She's 50, almost 56 crit rate, 251-ish. She's got 160 EM, which, I mean, 166 EM, which could be better. Almost 31k HP, uh, 1k attack, and a bit of pyro damage bonus. So not bad. Her artifacts are okay. That's got a crap ton of uh, crit rate on it. That's probably the best piece I've got on. It's got 29-ish crit damage, 3% crit rate, which would have been nice to get at least one crit rate roll and get that a little bit higher. But the other stats aren't really useful in this. Uh, this one's pretty good. Again, got a ton of crit rate. EM, bit of crit damage uh, on a HP times. Got power damage, decent crit rate. Rest of the stats aren't really useful. And then but that's the only power damage thing I've got, and it's on set as well. And then crit damage with EM and crit rate. There was a, I think maybe a better um, mask for her. It was the best circle I had for her, but there are some pieces that are lacking. That's got good crit rate. That's got good crit rate. That's got good crit rate. That doesn't, and that doesn't really. There are still things that could be better. The feather could be better, but again, I don't think I have a much better feather. That does have like 10% crit rate on it, which I mean, if we could do some more, if that could get like, like another roll into crit damage and keep that 10%, it would be better than this. And it would get us to 63, which isn't bad. It's definitely better than 55, but still could be slightly better. But I am going to keep this one because it's just, it's, looks like it looks really nice it's got a ton of crit damage on it but the other stats are pretty useless but i have just been slowly artifact strong boxing and other stuff with just trying to get a bunch of crimson pieces but this is the best build we've got for us so far talents are pretty good and you know not it's not it's not a bad build i'll take it especially if i can hit 100k i'll happily take 100k hit but i do want to try her out and do some charged attacks but it's general is probably not the greatest now because we don't i don't have c1 but i still just want to see what sort of damage you can hit with a charge attack 
So I'm just literally just gonna do this and just get Xing Cho's uh, burst up. I don't care about Bennett or anyone else. I just wanna get Xing Cho's burst up. And then I just wanna see how much damage you can hit with a charge attack. I probably won't do any like animation cancels or anything yet. Let's see how much you can hit with a charge attack. I cannot really see anything. 48k there, 47k. Being around 47, 40-ish k charge attacks. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's that's pretty good. That's some good damage. I'm very happy with that damage. I'll happily take that. No, actually, it's quite. It's much better than my uh, Yoi Mia. My Yoi Mia does do more attacks, so I don't actually know if it's actually more damage, but it looks like more damage. So um, yeah, I'm very happy with that damage. Uh, I will definitely try to get her burst up to level nine. See if that can get a highest hit. And um, obviously farm some more artifacts. But once we've got C1, I'm going to come back and try to get some even more damage with C1. So uh, yeah, we'll go activate C1 and uh, see what happens there. Okay, so I've just finished filming my C1 versus Star of Homer video. And the results were kind of disappointing. But uh, if you want to see those results, go check out the video. But uh, yeah, now our hoot out is C1 and I'm going to attempt to use her properly because in that video I realized how much I cannot use her properly and I'm not very good at her whole animation cancelling or whatever. But I'm going to try to hit some massive damage with both her E and her Q. So we probably will run Ching Cho and Bennett. Ching Cho is a necessity for Hu Tao. Gives it the vaporized damage. Bennett uh, will buff, so that will be good because I've built Bennett so he barely heals. He just mostly buffs. He's got like, okay, so apparently I was, yeah. So um, he definitely needs more attack and stuff, but it's not horrible right now. For this though, I will actually swap him over to the level 70 Skyward Blade. So that gives us, gives him a bit more attack. Um, artifacts are okay. A uh, bit of attack there, some crit damage, ER, more ER and crit and attack. Uh, attack sands, HP because I really don't have anything else. And a little bit of healing isn't bad. And then attack uh, circle it. So overall, not a horrible build. Again, could still be better. But he does it all, all the damage we need. And we're also probably going to put sucrose on. Just so then we can do swell reactions maybe. That will work. So, Hu Tao will do big damage. It won't try to get the biggest burst damage possible because I'm just trying to get the biggest on this account now. Um, Xing Cho will apply the Hydro. Bennett will buff. Sucrose will swell Hydro. We will go fight Cryo Rage is fine for this because that's probably the best um, boss to do Hu Tao tests on because it's weak and you can just like nuke it and it's really satisfying. So, let's hope this goes well. Xing Cho E. Swell the Hydro. Do that. 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 And then this. I just one-shotted it. Was that... Hold up. Was that my new best damage? I've got to check now. Is that the most damage I've done? Yes, that is. 190k, baby. That's... I'm, I'm happy with that. 190k. That's pretty good. <laughs> I could probably hit more if I had a Mona or like a, a Mona instead of a Shingcho and a Kazua instead of Sucrose. But for a bit of a scuff to build, 190k works. I will happily take 190k. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. That's some good damage. I'll, I'll happily take 190k, one shot at the boss, test out Hu Tao's ability on some weekly bosses, because I do need to farm them anyway. And I need to do this anyway to get, I need to do Child to do, to get Hu Tao's burst up to level 9. Because Hu Tao's burst isn't even at level 9 yet, and she's still hitting some pretty good damage. Big damage. That was not big damage. There we go. 
That was okay. It was the fastest I've ever done it, so I will happily take that. Can we get some good drops? One. And... Okay. Not very good, but... I'll keep it because it's cryo damage. Are you going to do Dream Solvents? No. Okay, I really need to learn to do her rotations properly. Because right now, I'm not very good at it. It's the whole dash cancelling, whatever. I'm not very good at that. Can we craft for like a, quite a bit more of those? Because if we can, then we can get her burst up to level 9 and try to get a 200k. I really want to try to get a 200k. Let's see. Can we craft? enough of these books yes we definitely can let's only craft what we need which is eight i think so now we should be able to level up who towels q yes there we go who towels burst is leveled up now it's all up to crowning stuff which i will do all later but now let's go see if i can try to hit a higher damage than before Okay, so now that we have uh, Hu Tao's uh, burst up to level 9, I just want to give her a shot and see uh, how much damage we can do with food buffs. Because I want to try to hit a 200 plus K. So uh, I want to try to use some food buffs. And then we're going to use Pyro Damage and an Adept's Temptation. Now, let's go see how much damage we can hit. And. Didn't crit. God sakes. Okay, let's go try this again. Now, can we please, God sakes, just crit? Now, give it a minute. Now we'll do this. There we go. I thought. I think that's a 200k. I think that was a 200k. 210k. I will happily take a 210k. That's all I wanted to get. So I'll take that. That that's very good. Uh, but yeah, that's uh that's gonna be all for this video. We have uh fully built out our hotel, level ninety, weapon level ninety, okay artifacts, C one, nine 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 talents. I'm going to focus completely on trying to get um better artifacts and uh talent books for her because I still need quite a few more of them. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye.